Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. As you might have seen in our previous video, we have actually been using a lot of diffuse air aerations. And for this video, I'll be actually explaining why we have decided to use a paddle wheel aerator in some of our upgraded shrimp farm tanks. So stay tuned. <laughs> For those that are new to this channel, we provide latest information on bioflock technology for shrimp farming, in particular indoor shrimp farming. So if you like our content, do like and subscribe so that you can get the notification for our newest video that release every Friday. So now back to business. So as you can see, our new tanks are all actually round HDPE tanks and we have covered why we have been using HDPE in a previous video. And now I'll be showing you firstly, how can we assemble some of this paddle wheel. We actually use a lot of this paddle wheel in our outdoor ponds. And you can see that it's actually very easy to assemble and operate. And anybody can do that, even if it's, you are doing it for the first time. So the parts of the paddle wheel will consist of the float and the frame in which you assemble it this way. And then you will put on the motor and the gearbox, which is mounted on the frame. So you need to take note that all of the materials needs to be corrosion resistant so even the screws that we are using over here are all stainless steel screws this is to prevent rusting as when you get contact with salt water as if you use normal screws you might you might get a lot of corrosion and you can't open the screws uh, after a short period of time so as you can see we are just about to install some of the coupling and the shaft and this is how you connect the shaft into the coupling so this coupling is to protect the gearbox and the motor from uh, any misalignments. So it gives it a bit of a freedom to move, especially when you aerate and turn the water up uh, in high speeds. So as you can see, it is actually very easy to assemble. You can use it with any household tools, uh, such as a spanner, and that's what you just about need to assemble this. So one important thing, you know, is to make sure that the gearbox is uh, well lubricated over time. And we suggest to refill the oil levels every two cycles. Okay, so the oil that we'll be using in our case is actually this oil. You can find it in a lot of accessory or even hardware shop that sells specialized lubricant. So the SAE is 40. And this is how we actually dump the oil into the gearbox. So for this uh, unit, it doesn't have a drain to remove the oil old oil from the system so what you need to do is to siphon out some of this old gear oil and to top up with the new gear oil so that the debris doesn't get stuck inside the gearbox and reduce the lifespan so this gearbox is actually a plastic gearbox which is makes it a bit more corrosion resistance we decided to use a better version for our own indoor farms because we are able to sort of maintain it better as compared in outdoor condition so after you fill up the oil, um, then we then proceed to put it on top of the pond. Uh, we need a bit more, two to three guys to actually lift it up. And then proceed to sort of install the paddle wheels, which is what you look like this. And you can just simply tighten them up uh, with the spanner as well. Okay, and do all the electri electrical termination. So for this case, you know, we highly recommend that you engage an electrician to help you do this. And also make sure that you have an electrician on site when you commission the paddle wheel and check for the current that is being consumed by the motor so that it doesn't overheat or in case of any other issues. So this is how the paddle wheel can function. So once we started to run it in an indoor condition, you can see that uh, it splashes up quite well. And it not only it creates a lot of aeration, it also pr provides a lot of flow. So this is a slow motion, 120 frames count. You can see that how the paddle wheel is actually creating a lot of frontal waves. Okay, and this is just a mounted GoPro view of uh, how much force is actually put inside the water, not just for aeration, but in terms of movement or moving the water body on its own, which is quite important if you're in a bioflock system and requires good circulation. So as you can see, this is the wave that is created by the paddle wheel and we have a round tank. So if I take an aerial drone footage, you can actually see the water started to turn in clockwise, which is really, really great for mixing and mixing maintenance of the bioflock systems.
So hopefully, guys, you have learned something in this video. You know, how easy is it to install a pedal wheel and also maintenance. So it's a uh, quite a simple piece of equipment. And you can see that by installing one pedal wheel, we are able to move the amount of water in the system. So if you like our content, do like and subscribe. And I hope to see you back again at RS Aquaculture.